when you're doing the composition domains, you want to look at the two functions that you have. I have f of x and g of x, and look at what their domains are, the domain of f and the domain of g. So that's going to be important, separating those two. First, find f of g of x. So do the outside function, write x cubed plus 2, and then inside that, I'm putting g of x, which is just 2x plus 7. Don't cube it. Just leave it that way. That's good enough. That's good enough. How many had that so far? Good. That's one step. Now we're going to take the domain of g of x, which is the inside. And the domain of g of x is x less than or equal to 0. So this one is minus 7. And then the domain of g is given to be x less than or equal to 0. Now we're going to intersect that with the domain of the outside, which is x greater than negative 10. But instead of x, we put the inside function uh, 2x plus 2x minus 7. I'm going to get it right this time. There you go. Uh, how many of you have younger brothers or sisters? Okay. Uh, ever feel like in your house that it's all about the youngest person? It's all about the little brother, all about the little sister. Do they get? How many of you agree? They get all the attention. Yes, true. Well, the same thing is here as well. Is it's all about the inside function. Everything is about the inside function. It's just like a little brother or sister. Domain of the inside. That's all about the inside. Even when it's about the domain of the outside, you still have to take that inside function and put it in there. It's all about the younger inside function. So x is less than or equal to 0. 2x is greater than, if I add 7, this will be negative 3. Did you get x greater than negative 3 halves? Yeah. So we're going to do the intersection of these two. A little tricky because you've got to visualize it on a number line. Here's negative 3 halves. Here's 0. So if it's less than or equal to 0 and greater than negative 3 halves, I'd say you have two ways to write your answer. You could do the set method, set of all x, such that x is between negative 3 halves and 0. You could do that. Or do you like the interval method better? I know you do. That's the interval. So you can go set or interval, whatever you please. And that is that one. We'll do the second one next. Composition of functions uh, inside is f of x this time. So we go 2x minus 7. And you're going to get x cubed plus 2. That's the inside. Well, these are, is there anything that this isn't going to work? No, it's all reals, except we've got to use these restricted ones. So domain of f is x greater than negative 10. Remember the little brother or little sister is the inside function, gets all the attention. Take the domain and the, try the domain of the outside, greater than or equal to 0. We just put in for that, we're just going to put in the um, inside function f of x x cubed plus 2. Now this isn't going to look pretty, but that's all right. You have x greater than negative 10 intersect x cubed less than or equal to negative 2. Can you take the cubed root of a negative number and get a negative number? You can. It's legal. Every state except Idaho. So uh, this is an actual number. It's like probably negative one point something. And so now think about your number line again. And on the number line is negative 10, negative one point something. Cubed root of negative 2. And this says it's greater than negative 10. 
less than or equal to negative 2. So my domain is going to be the interval notation negative 10 to negative cube root of negative 2. Weird looking answer, but it's correct. How many had that? Nice. Feeling confident? Feeling strong? Hopefully.